Welcome to our lake house. Where's Cece? Cece, come here. Come here. Hi, Hi baby. <laughs> First night in the lake house complete. Yep, we stayed here last night. Um, Scott's parents met us up here and they actually got here a day early and cleaned the whole place for us. Which it was is awesome. Amazing. And then we stayed here last night with the dogs. They got to explore. We sat on lawn chairs and. Place is completely empty. It's but completely we're empty. We're excited to show you guys. So here goes nothing. All right, so here's the front of our house. Um, Gravel the, driveway. The front is actually sort of the side. There's really no true front entrance, but we're gonna walk up to the front here. You can see that it's this beige vinyl siding. We're not hugely in love with that, as you can imagine, but um, that's okay because we fell in love with what was on the inside. Entering into little mudroom area is a utility closet here. It will eventually be taken better advantage of. And then immediately left is the kitchen. It's small, but the perfect little work triangle. Um, we are looking forward to giving it cleaner cabinets and new countertops and all sorts of stuff. Getting rid of the hanging can opener. <laughs> we have lots of ideas in here, but it's a great little size and it has this peninsula over here, which is, it sort of reminds us of our condo, our first house. If you guys have been following her for a really long time, how the counter overlooks into the living room. So great sort of like old school semi open floor plan, which is gonna be great once we maximize it. One of the things that we are most excited about, as you can see, Definitely. is this beamed ceiling with tongue and groove pine underneath. Is that pine? I think so. It's That's like naughty Somebody pine. told us. Anyway. Um, but it's really cute. The ceilings were definitely one of the things that sold us. And then swinging over, there's a little ladder that goes up to a loft. And we'll show you that in a second. But the main space here, um, it's not huge but it's definitely a good size to put a nice size couch eventually we like to make this one even countertop and then we can put a few stools underneath there little breakfast bar area looking back into the kitchen this way and then over in this corner to the left there's a tiny pot belly stove well, it's not so tiny my dad and i think it weighs about 500 pounds <laughs> But um, I think that this area is going to change into like a little banquette seating area or maybe the long dining table, which might mean that we have to rearrange the placement of this ladder, which is a whole nother story, but that's something that we'll get to down the road. But we just see sort of lots of Eden kitchen. Maybe a Thanksgiving meal here would be fun. So the ladder has this cool pulley contraption, kind of like a pirate ship, like raising and lowering the mast. And then this little anchoring point over here, so when you lift it, you can tie it off. As you guys can see, Jack's really excited. Cece's currently in the bathtub, taking a drink. <laughs> and here goes the ladder. Try to do this safely with one hand while still filming. And here comes Kim up the ladder. So Hi. the loft is definitely one of my favorite parts of the whole place. It was the thing, it was the photo that we saw in the listing and we were like, oh crap, we have to go see this place. One ceilings window. are kind of low, but it's just, if you look at the ceilings, they're actually just plain um, beadboard that you would get at Lowe's or Home Depot. So not original to the house, obviously. Not original to the house. And then you can see, it looks like the beams are just one by twos. 
Two by threes, actually. Two but by yeah. threes, but they're just like stacked, so it gives it a thicker look. Yep. And then, obviously, some electrical stuff to address. We did negotiate the beds to stay in. How they're cute are these old school beds? hardwood beds. This one has a trundle bed under it. Uh, so eventually you could sleep three adults up here or a bunch of kids. As you can see, we need to get some risers or something. Or so, a different trundle. Or a different trundle altogether, right. So there we go. Here's the loft and then kind of looking. Oh wait, the little, the little nooks. Oh yeah. I like those little cubbies. Each bed has a little cubby by it with a little outlet next to it so people could like leave their book there, have a little lamp, charge your phone while you sleep, whatever. Here's a little close up of those beds. And then looking back this way, this cool old log railing. And then there goes Kim again. <laughs> Down the ladder backwards safely, please. Okay. It looks like Cece's done with her little drink out of the tub. These guys are exhausted from running around all weekend. Look at that little baby bump. Uh, okay. Um, so moving into the bathroom. Can you, is it too dark? Yeah, turn the lights on. Mm, maybe not. Okay. And <laughs> just washed everything out. Okay. It has a few cool things, a few not so cool things. So one of our favorite parts in this home is all, look at these windows and these little, these cute little latches. Like a handhold almost. But a lot of the windows and doors in this home are still original. We think this home, our realtor says that she thinks it's a 1930s home. Um, but we love that we're able to salvage these and strip the paint and see what we can find under there. And over here, one of the biggest issues is this bump out. So this bump out is the back of a closet, which is part of the guest room. And so what we'd like to do is remove that completely, open up the bathroom, be able to give us a double vanity behind this door, and then probably move the toilet over to where the vanity is now. And that is, I don't know, maybe we'll do next year, two years. Yeah, who knows. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Functional for now, that's yeah. all that matters. So back into the living room. So the bedroom that I was talking about with that closet is in here. It's the smaller of the two bedrooms, and it looks like that closet was added after the fact because you can see there's actually carpet on the floor. Beautiful. Well, I know it's probably not the most popular opinion to get rid of a closet, but this room is so small that we'd like to still be able to keep a queen size bed in here and then probably just try to find like a vintage bureau or something that someone can hang clothes on or in the, tuck in stuff the corner in the over here, yeah. Got but it. again, the cute windows. Yep. And look at this. All these old doorknobs. This is the stuff that we spent hours and weekends and weeks searching for in our own home when we were salvaging doors and stripping paint. But it's all here it's already. It's all here already. So then our bedroom, the larger of the two bedrooms, does have um, a French door walkout to the deck, which you can see out there. We think this whole room was actually an addition. We're almost positive it is. If you look at the floors, it's just painted plywood. Right, so this was added at some point. We're not certain when, 30 years ago, something like that, based on the age of the windows. Um, but really nice size. It has this interesting little nook over here in the corner that I think was like a makeup nook or something cool octagon window that tilts out, so even if it's raining out, you can leave the window open. And then again, gigantic closet over here, like a quadruple we'll wide. We'll probably keep this one though, just for things like beach towels and all the extra storage that you would need in a lake house. But then swinging back into the living room, we love these walls. Um, they sort of match the ceilings in there. Not sure how we feel about them staying this color, but I mean, we'll see. There, there's just so many ideas and things swimming through our heads, but we can't wait to just make get to our, it. Yeah, make things our own, I guess. Um, but here's the other thing: these cute French doors. So we think that this used to just lead outside originally. Um, all the doors stick. Nothing yep. really closes without a little finagling, but... And Cece did discover last night that we're missing a panel. Right down there. the bottom there. there. Come here, Cece. Come on, Mama. So that's the whole house. There um, you have it. 
It's about 825 square feet. Plus the loft. Plus the loft. So probably like 900 square feet yeah. of usable space. And one of our first projects is adding an HVAC system because it is non-existent. I think I'm most excited about the mud room. Yeah, laundry in there. There's, it's actually plumbed for like a slop sink, so we'll have fun like a cute mm -hmm. little vintage sink to like wash your boots or your sandy beach clothes yeah. or whatever. And putting like a little bench and baskets and all that cute stuff. Yeah. We can't wait to see how this living room comes together, but we're just really excited about everything. The kitchen, seeing what's underneath that linoleum. Um, we can't well, wait. Hopefully original flooring, we think. Yeah. But we will see and uh, Thanks for watching and we look forward to showing you we more. We can't wait to show. Okay, All right. bye. Bye. So Cece found last night that there's a missing panel in the bedroom door. And here she is. It, we also her found through. out her body fits right through it. Little unintentional doggy door, right Cece? Yeah, what's it to ya? Cece. I'm in jail. <laughs>